In defence of the trail, the ants take no prisoners, but even an innocuous-looking insect can be surprisingly dangerous. The soil millipede is killed quickly, but the soldier's highly sensitive antennae immediately reveal that it's poisonous. The message soon reaches nearby ants. They know exactly what to do. They gather lumps of mud and bury the problem. With the millipede out of harm's way, the trail can safely continue its journey. But more dangers await the trailblazers. A praying mantis plucks unsuspecting ants from the column. He seems to have the upper hand but the ants he kills send out a dying message. Reacting to this pheromone, reinforcements arrive. The mantis is a deadly predator, but the ants know exactly what they're dealing with. One soldier grabs the mantis's jaws, stopping it from doing any more damage. Other ants swarm over the mantis, butchering it with surgical precision. The mantis's fate is sealed by a clinical decapitation. The eggs and pupae are taken into the new nest. Here, they are safe. The millions of interlocking ants that make up the nest's superstructure create an impenetrable barrier. from the outside is it possible to get an idea of the nest's huge scale. Literally millions of individuals form a nervous network that communicates using pheromones. As ants pass messages to each other, they effectively act like brain cells. Through the millions of interconnections, they arrive at a decision that works for the benefit of the colony. Like human brain cells, individual ants are not intelligent, but the links between them create a mind, an ant superbrain. Deep inside is the queen. Her role is to replenish the colony by laying two million eggs a month. She is merely an egg-laying machine under the collective command of all the ants that make up the mind of the hive. The ants create a different kind of intelligence, a brain that exists outside any single body.